All right, so welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing Carcassonne Hunters and Gatherers. Now, I really enjoy Carcassonne. In fact, uh, I, in I enjoy the original Carcassonne, obviously, but I especially love the Carcassonne that has a lot to do with animals, like Carcassonne Safari and Carcassonne Amazonas, for instance. And so, you know, I definitely was definitely interested in, in this one because of the woolly mammoth, obviously, that's involved in this game, because it's technically like a prime evil time period, technically. And so, obviously, it doesn't fully have a lot to do with animals in comparison to, like, Safari and Amazonas, for instance. But still, I was definitely intrigued with this one, just regardless of the case, because it's still somewhat thematic in the sense that it's going to have something to do with animals. Now, from what I understand, this is not new. This is a reprint of an original uh, Hunters and Gatherers that took that they made a long time ago. And so they just basically reprint, reprinted it with new artwork. I don't think they changed too much about it, although I never played the original. So I don't, I'm not sure if they changed anything besides, obviously, the artwork. As I did see the original box, and obviously I like the artwork for this a whole lot more. So anyways, well, let's take a look and see what's inside... Uh, this standalone Carcassonne game. And let's see what animals are in this box. Besides bo the uh, woolly mammoth, obviously. Oh yeah, and it's a Z-Man game, if I didn't mention that earlier. It's a Z-Man game. Another Z-Man game. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, 20 years... Carcassonne. So Carcassonne's been around 20 years now. That's interesting. So Carcassonne has been around for 20 years. Awesome. Very awesome. So it's definitely been around a while. Here's the rule book for Hunters and Gatherers. Like I said, I love the artwork for this game, for this uh, particular Carcassonne too. Um, so here's the rule book. Oh, so let's see here. The animals involved in the game looks like we've got deer, both male and female. We have aurochs, their type of bull, I believe. And uh, if anybody here watching my video, um, if anybody watching my video has played Final Fantasy X, do you remember the Besaid aurochs, this uh, blitzball team? Well, that's what an auroch is. If you don't know what an auroch is, that's what they are. This tiny little, or should I say this big... Uh, Buffalo-looking uh, animal. Then we have, obviously, the the mammoth. And then, oh, yes, the saber-toothed tiger. So, yes, there's animals involved in this game, which is good, which is very good. Uh, that's what I want. I want a Carcassonne game that's going to have a lot to do with nature and animals, even if, necess even if they're technically being hunted by the humans in this game. Technically, they might be, but I guarantee you the saber-toothed tiger is definitely going to be hunting them. Or at least, to thematically, that would thematically make sense. So there's the rule book. And as always, there's not that many pages. Because there shouldn't be too much difference in Carcassonne. There might be some new abilities and new ways of doing certain things, but... Uh, I don't expect there to be a ton of new stuff. So, and then one final page. That's uh, it for the rule book. Okay, let's see here. What do we got here? I got this tape thing to take off. There we go. All right, so here's a board. Oh, here we go. So this is the score. This is obviously the score book, or the, I mean, uh, the scoreboard, sorry. Scoreboard, and it looks like the animals are going to give you some points. But if you have a saber-toothed tiger, by the looks of it, it might be a minus point. That's interesting. Um, that might be something new, because I'm not usually used to seeing minus points involved in Carcassonne. So I'd have to say that is definitely new, to see something that's going to actually decrease your score in the game. That might be new. I don't think, uh, I'm pretty sure Carcassonne and, and Amazonas didn't have something that was going to deduct your score if you had a certain something. So that's definitely a new thing for sure. And as you know, 
When it comes to Carcassonne, most of the components are going to be punch-outs. They're going to be these right here, right? Most of them. And so we have some really good artwork on these. Obviously, we have fish on some, on some of these. And there's the saber-toothed tiger there where my thumb is. And there's an auroch on that one as well, on that tile. So the artwork is really nice. I'm not going to punch anything out because there's a good because that's like pretty much the majority of the game is going to be punch outs. But um, let's see. It looks like we have some X's. I'm not sure what those are for yet. And these are for if you score more than 50 points. If you score more than 50 points, you'll take one of these to indicate that you uh, have more than 50 points. I really like that. They did that for uh, Carcassonne uh, Safari, which I really enjoyed. I don't think they did that for Amazonas, but they definitely did that for uh, for Safari. So I'm really happy that they did do that. Once you score 50 points, you don't have to like move your meeple on the score pad in a certain way to indicate that you know you have more than 50 points you just have to have one of these to know that you've scored more which is nice once you've scored that much which is really nice i enjoy that so that way you don't have to you know accidentally um you know you don't have to fully you don't have to remember how many points you have for sure that way this way you don't have to which is good i like that okay so and then we've got obviously more tiles this one's a... Uh, oh, there we go. So, obviously, more tiles. More tiles. Looks like the forest is similar to, like, the original Carcassonne cities, obviously. And then, um, yeah, it looks like that's about right on that one. And I guess, uh, I guess the rivers are technically like the roads of the original Carcassonne, which obviously makes sense. Why would there be roads in 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 that type time period? If they were, they were dirt roads, right? So not likely that there was any roads back then, but so rivers makes more sense, obviously. So yeah, there's a lot of animals involved in this game. So that's good. I like that. And it looks like that's the last one of the punch outs. But then obviously that's not all in the game. We also have the meeples. And that's it. The tiles and the meeples. Punch outs and the meeples. So let's see what we have for meeples. So we'll definitely want to take a look at these meeples. So obviously they're people meeples, like a reg regular Carcassonne, except they have this. Uh, I think that's like a staff, right? And then obviously they would live in like a camp like setting or a tent, something similar to a tent. So that's why there's they they, they look exactly like the tents of. Uh, some of the other games, some of the other Carcassonne games, like uh, Amazonas had tents, for instance. So they're exactly the same as those. But uh, the meeples are definitely a little different from your average uh, Carcassonne humanoid meeple. Because of the uh, staff, it looks like, that they're holding. Or spears. I guess they could be spears. They're probably spears. But I don't see anything else different about the meeples. There's, there's no... Um, animal meeples in this expansion there was animal meep uh, there was um obviously uh, uh the uh, rhinos i think they were i think there were rhinos for the uh, carcassonne safari that you would put on actually put on your score pad but not in this one so that's good though they're nice they're really nice but uh, that's basically it for this video to unbox and as you know the sim setup is simple just uh, one little tile usually, right? So, not much else going on, although I'm sure there's some additional rules and stuff that makes it different from some of the other Carcassones. Like that saber-toothed tiger, it's going to decrease your score by the looks of it. So, obviously, that's different for sure, which is good. I, li I, like, I like having all the different Carcassone games that I own, even if they're mostly all still ne necessarily about animals. But if they add something that makes it a little different from the other Carcassonne games, then even better. If they all have some interesting mechanic or something like that that makes them different, that's that's what it's all about. That's what we want. That's what we want in a Carcassonne game. We want them to be, if they're going to be making different themed Carcassonne games, they should at least add some mechanic that makes them different. Carcassonne Amazonas had that river that you built, and yes, there were some expansions for the original Carcassonne, I think, that had the same idea. But it had a river that you were trying to build, and you were trying to get your boats to go down the river, which was an, in an interesting uh, 
obviously, aspect to the game. And then Carcassonne Safari had those little animal tiles that you get to put onto the roads or into the uh, little uh, uh, little forests, which were more like uh, savanna bushes, really. Um, and then, of course, you could also use those little animal uh, animal tiles to build like a, a little oasis in the corner of the tiles. So, obviously, there's something going on in this one that makes it a little different. So, obviously, we'll have to learn about that uh, in the How to Play video. But there's definitely going to be something that makes this different from the original Carcassonne. And that's, that's what I like about my Carcassonne games. I, I want them to be definitely thematic especially involving animals, but I also appreciate a few differences in the game besides just obviously the way it looks or the types of, uh, you know, whether it be a road or a dirt road, like Kirkusun was like more of a dirt road, for instance, um, or sand path or something like that. So I like something different in the game for sure. So anyways, this is interesting for sure. I'm going to enjoy playing this, I think. So look forward to a how to play video on this in the near future, Carcassonne Hunters and Gatherers. If you guys liked this unboxing video, don't forget to leave a like. It'll help me out a lot, and I'll see you guys again next time.